So hi guys um, and welcome to my uh, video log. Um, just a quick introduction, uh, my name is Kevin Burdock, I'm the owner, director and pilot of Quantum Racing. Um, I race a 28 foot P1 Panther offshore powerboat in the Eucopa class in England and I am the current world and national record holder at Lake Coniston. Uh, home of the famous Donald Campbell and we also were very lucky enough to win the Eucopa Class 3X World Championships um, in 2019. As I say I raced a 28 foot P1 Panther powerboat and earlier on this year I was extremely fortunate enough to um, meet uh, Victor from Cambox and uh, he was extremely interested in the type of racing that we do and I showed an extreme interest in the V4 Pro um, CAN box helmet camera that we're about to talk a little bit about. Um, again, as I say, I'm extremely grateful. It's uh, been sort of six months due to the obvious COVID situation and there being no racing this year. But we really hope to uh, be able to go out next season and uh, take some amazing footage with this absolutely unique product. Um, let's talk a little bit about the actual product itself. It, um, I don't know if you can see this guys, it, it arrived. It's extremely well packaged. Um, I'm gonna just rip into that straight away. And as you can see, it's, it's very well boxed. Um, this camera is uh, basically it's a, a revolutionary um, helmet camera. Uh, it allows you to not just bolt like a traditional type camera to um, whatever vehicle you're in, uh, whether it be race car, go karting. So it's it's not a fixed mounted camera that only views in one direction. Um, this actually fits uh, directly inside the crash helmet up here, uh, underneath the visor. And it's extremely well protected from the elements and um, it also picks up uh, your voice extremely well. So the, the camera is a, it's a 4K, um, 60 frames per second. It has a 12 megapixel resolution um, and it films in high definition 4K or 1080p. There are other settings on the camera. You can lower the settings to 270. Um, but this, this actual camera gives you a, a wide angle view of 150 degrees. So that's um, quite a large viewpoint from the center of the camera to what it can see either side. Um, and obviously wherever you move your head within the helmet, um, you can get a full view of a driver's point of view or driving position of the camp of um, the race circuit or the track that you're on. So we're hoping that this will produce some really, really good film footage uh, for next year. So uh, without further ado, I'll try, um, I'll try and get this in, in the picture as, as best I can. So amongst the packaging, um, Canbox have uh, been very good. They've given me a 64 megapixel um, SD card. So it's a tiny little micro SD card that fits into the unit. And it looks like they've given me several spare uh, Velcro um, pieces that fit inside your crash helmet or various crash helmets. For example, I wear two different crash helmets depending on the racing situation I'm in. Um, so the camera can be easily moved from one helmet to another helmet. The box um, that it's come in is very, very nice. Um, so Canbox is a, a French company and uh, goes by the name of Canbox Mecca. But um, uh, I actually got in touch with Canbox USA, um, or Canbox North America as it's known. 
and then their third major outlet is Canbox Australia. Um, there are various different types of uh, Canbox um, cameras. They range from the very first Canbox camera that they made right up to a Mark II and the Mark III. And then when it comes to the Mark IV, I believe there are three or four different versions of the Mark IV camera. Um, the Mark IV Plus uh, and obviously the Mark IV Pro, which is what they they actually sent me. Packaging again, you know, is fantastic. It, you know, it looks like an iPhone. Um, it's extremely well boxed and well presented. Uh, and inside, as you can see, we've got the actual camera unit itself. Uh, with quite a catchy little logo there that says history begins. Um, that's the actual camera unit. It's very slimline, it's bespoke. Um, it looks to me as though it flexes, uh, so that will then take up the shape of whatever helmet or crash helmet that you're uh, fitting it into. Um, or whether you even just wear it on a baseball cap or on a shooting range um, or horse riding uh, seems to be an extremely popular unit for this type of camera. I should imagine it would go down quite well in uh, American football as well. But anything that what you, wear, you would wear a hat or a helmet in whatever sport you do, um, this thing is going to be absolutely amazing. The camera itself is just covered by a little plastic cover cap and the camera actually tilts um, in small little increments to angle the actual viewpoint of the, of the actual camera itself. Um, I'm told it's very easy to operate. I will do another video uh, later of the actual camera in action, but uh, even if you're wearing gloves, the actual on-off is just hold, and the camera starts. So you've got a tiny little white light that's come up here, showing that the camera is activated. And on the other side, if you just press and hold this, the camera should activate Bluetooth. Um, so your, your Bluetooth is switched on and flashing, so that's now looking for my mobile phone and the camera is, in this particular instance, in standby mode. And you can either operate this by your phone or you can operate it by touching one more time. But the camera vibrates three, three times um, and it flashes green when it's actually recording. And then one further press and the camera goes back to red and that's back in its standby mode. So let's just see how easy this thing is to, to fit. So this is um, my race helmet. Um, if you lift up the visor and just place the camera inside the helmet onto the Velcro, just give it a little firm press, it's in there straight away. So I don't know if you can see that on the camera, but I'll bring it a little bit closer so you can see. So there you have it, that's the Cambox V4 Pro um, bespoke internal camera helmet. Internal helmet camera, I should say. Um, very, very easily fitted within minutes. Some of the other unique features that have come really nicely packaged in a box is you have uh, some more Velcro pads that will allow you to attach the camera to several different helmets. Um, you've got a little manual as such, uh, but pretty much there's, there isn't a manual in there. It tells you to download the Camox app, um, which is available on Android and iPhone. And on that app, there's all the instructions that you would need to operate the camera. Um, as well as that, in this little welcome pack, it's quite clever, there's a beautiful little motorsport drawing inside there showing bike racing, go-karting, racing cars, 
uh, a motocross, um, hoping that one day um, they might add a power bait to their list of extreme um, sports that they cover with their cameras. Um, you also get a little, little charger pack as well. Um, very nice again, see a little welcome pack, and that would be your uh, HDMI connection to the camera. Um, so again, very, very well presented. Uh, it tells you on the side of the box um, what the basic models cover. Um, you've got the Mark IV, the Mark IV Plus, and the Mark IV Pro. Um, it's 1080p, uh, 30 frames per second, uh, 4K uh, at 60 frames per second, or 4K at 30 frames per second. Um, so in my particular version, the Mark IV Pro, we've got um, 4K at 60 frames per second as a ultra stabilization for the image and a 150 degree wide angle lens as I said before. Once it's fitted inside the helmet, um, what you can do is you close down your visor and it will still view through the visor itself. Uh, on my particular visor, I have a Xylon strip, which is just an extra carbon fiber support for the top of the visor to stop that from cracking under extreme conditions. So what I would do is I would probably um, tilt the angle of the camera down slightly so that you can see. Um, gives you. So again, thank you so much for watching. Um, and uh, very, very grateful to Cambox. I uh, can't wait to try out this camera uh, in a racing condition and see what sort of images it comes back with from the world of offshore powerboat racing. Thank you.